Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Coffee and Tea with Coach Paula B. Show. Here we are at a uh, little bit after 5.30, and I am on live, and I'm adjusting everything so I can interact with you. As you come on, if you'll uh, just say hey and, and sign in with us, that'll be great. Just super glad to be here today. And, you know, um, I don't know about you, but it's been a really busy day for me and a really good day for me. Had some um, out of the blue stuff happening that uh, just got invited to be part of some podcasts and um, got invited to be an expert comment, commentator on this new show that's going out and those kind of things. So it's been a great day and, um, and lots of other stuff going on too. So, um, so tonight, 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 I want to talk about, got some people signing on with me in the zoom room. So we'll let them in and we're going to welcome Tatiana and, and Tatiana, if you'll go ahead and just, um, uh, close down your video and your audio, that would be great. And feel free to um, put some chats in if you want to as we go. But tonight, what I'd like to talk about is, um, is the one thing that I know is the key to um, your success in most things. And it's also the key to... Tatiana, if you can go ahead and close down your um, close down your your uh, your your video, that'd be great, and your audio, that'd be perfect. Thank you. Just chat with us as you will. So tonight, I want to talk about what do you think the number one thing to um, that will keep you, or what I hear about really, from getting to what you want. You know, I hear this the same story over and over and over again about I've always wanted to, um, I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to do that. And I never get to it. I never get my book done. I'm not making enough money. Um, all those kind of things. And I hear it over and over and over again. So for those of you that are on with me right now and live with me right now and welcome, welcome, welcome. What do you think that number one thing that I know, no, no, that if I can help, if I can coach, because I'm going to give it to you tonight and we're going to work on it tonight and give you the little pointers. If you can get to this, it will change everything. It will change everything. Um, so what do you think that is? I, I love the hearts coming in. Thank you for that. <laughs> Um, what do you think it is? Go ahead and type it in. Tatiana's typing in vibration. Yeah, well, she's right about that. Vibration gets to the core of it all. And um, But I'm going to bring it up to one more level. And hi to everybody who's joining us live and um, those Tatiana's in the chat room with us. Um, the one thing that I know that's changed everything for me, as well as anybody that I coach, is their self-worth. And if they are, you know, over and over again, I'll hear, oh, I've always wanted to write a book. And I especially hear these stories. And by the way, I'm one as well. I have many, many, um, I have three books going right now. And sometimes I hear a story from somebody that says, you know what, I've, anybody else writing a book in here, write in, I'm writing a book. If you are writing a book, writing a book. Um, I hear stories from people that say, I, I'm almost done with my book, but I quit writing it. Or I've got, you know, three quarters of the book done and I haven't finished it. Or you will hear also people say, you know, I've always wanted to start um, something. I've always, always wanted to do something like a new business or something, but I'm, I'm too scared or whatever. And when the one thing that I know, and also the income thing, anybody in here want money? If you want more money, type in money. <laughs> I don't know anybody doesn't want more money. I want more money. Um, this is what holds people back. You know, they get ready to finish their book and they go, oh, I don't know if it'll be good enough. What if people read it and they don't like it? You know, all of that stuff. So 
um, that's all self-worth stuff. That's all self-worth stuff. And if we can, um, if we can adjust that, if we can work on that, if somehow we can coach to it and change it, that really, really, really helps. So I want to talk tonight about how self-worth is impacting all of us, me included. I, I think I started out this journey. I was talking to a group and this is, um, I usually do this Monday morning mindset on this place called Mommy's Black Party. And I, you know, they asked me to do some mindset stuff. And I started thinking, you know, I'm, I don't want to dance anymore. I, I just want to lay it out. I want to tell the truth that I've got to say. And the big truth for me that I've got to say is that this self-worth thing is so freaking important. If we would really get honest with ourselves about it, if we would really get honest with each other about it, if we would just get real and, and like, like uh, Tatiana says, it'll change our vibrations. It'll change everything. It's going to bring money. It's going to bring success or whatever you want that defines what you want. So we're going to talk about it tonight. We're going to be honest about it tonight. We're going to go deeper if we can tonight and talk about self-worth. My, I'm one too. I've got a book that's uh, three quarters of the way done. Um, it's a 30 day in, of inspiration, 30 days of inspiration. I'm on day 18 and I put it away. I put it away and I didn't finish it. And then I got into, um, into another book and I've gotten like, you know, the outline and I'm writing on it. Anybody writing a book in here say writing a book. Um, I've gotten the outlining done and I'm writing on it and then I stop. And the reason I stop is because I start saying, I don't think I have anything to say about this. Well, you guys hear me talking. I've got plenty to say about a lot of things, don't I? So if I just keep going and follow on, yeah. Um, yeah. And Tatiana says that she thinks the depth comes from the belief system. And that's exactly right. I mean, we've got to go deep into this, into what do we believe and all of that. And the first thing I want to say about this is sometimes when we start talking about this, people get in despair. Because you start talking about like dreams that you've never accomplished or things that you haven't quite done or, you know, what in, and then people get focused on what's going wrong or what hasn't happened. And what I want to say is don't, please don't despair. This is not about you doing something wrong. Every day of our lives, we are all born full of self-worth. We are born full, like they say in the South, full of ourselves, right? We're these little bitty babies and these toddlers and we walk around and we know what we want. We know what we don't want. We're pretty, um, we're pretty um, forceful about it sometimes and throw tantrums. And what does the world do? It, it tells us, no, don't do that. No, you can't do that. You can't have this, right? And not all of it's bad. It's, you know, safety reasons. If, you know, a little toddler thinks the warm stove feels really encouraging and they put their hand on the hot stove, what's going to happen? They're going to get burned, right? So we can't have um, everybody always running around doing whatever they want. But over time, people going to school, all of us going to school, school telling us to get in line, not run around when you want to, not paint on the walls. Um, a lot of you got to follow the rules and it was for a good reason. Over time, that starts to get a message like Tatiana says, gets into our belief system. And what is a belief? A belief is a sentence that you repeat to yourself over and over and over again. And it's, it's a story that you believe, right? That story that starts to repeat itself in its mind without you even thinking about it. So, you know, at school with our parents, whatever, it's not that they were bad. It just happens. And we start to sort of like question ourselves, right? We, um, yeah, we, I don't, I'm not going to say that out loud, Tatiana, because it's going to confuse a lot of people, but <laughs> Could be genetic too. <laughs> yes, it can be genetic. It can be in our DNA. So there we go. Um, hi, Andrea. You're on. I'm glad you're on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're talking about self worth, Andrea. Continue on from yesterday because we just can't talk about this enough. Um, so anyway, over time, that kind of can get beaten out of us, or not beaten out of us, but we start questioning ourselves, and then it starts carrying on. Particularly, I will say for women that we get a little bit more questioning, we get a little bit less um, uh, acknowledged maybe sometimes, and, and all of a sudden our self-worth starts to get depleted, right? So I wanna say, don't despair. 
there's always, 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 you can start today to turn it. Somebody type in turn it. You can start today to turn this around. Don't despair. I'm, you know, I'm still dealing with it and I've got a successful coaching practice and I'm, you know, doing okay. And it's going in a different direction. It's a level of taking things deeper. Now think the thing that happens for us in our society is we want things solved immediately. We want, we, you know, we might feel pain and we might feel, um, yeah, we are all worth it. Absolutely, Andrea. We might feel pain. We might feel sadness. We might feel a belief or something that's not serving us and we want it to be solved. And if it doesn't get solved fast, somebody say, I want it quick. <laughs> I want it quick. If it doesn't get solved fast, we start to despair and think it's never going to happen. And then sometimes we get running away, right? We start going towards something else. It's like, you know, having a glass of wine or eating too much or whatever it is. Um, so we, we get in this place where we start running away from it. But the thing is, is you can turn it and it takes time. Um, Self-worth, rebooting into your power takes time. But the magic, magic, magic is it can start today. And like what Tatiana said, the magic when it starts is it's going to impact your vibration. It's going to make you feel better. You're going to know you're doing it because you feel good. And the more you feel good, the more you're going to bring to you that helps you feel good. And you're going to bring more stuff to you. So that's the beauty of this. You can start today. Don't despair. So I'm going to give you a four points to think about for this, to think about in our self-worth. First of all, is getting aware, just thinking about it. What's going on with my own self-worth? Just thinking about it. There's so many people that live their life and tell the story, I haven't written my book or I wrote three quarters of my book and I didn't finish it. I always wanted to have $10 million and I've never made more than $50,000. So I'll just stay at my job. Um, you know, there's so many people that do that and don't examine why, what's the control alt delete that could happen that could take them to the next level, higher level. And so getting aware is the first step thinking about it. And I see Tatiana's beautiful face right now. And she's literally looks like she's thinking about it. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, think about where you are. Where is your self-worth? Somebody say mine is good or I need work or something. Somebody tell me how your self-worth is. Not any, I don't know anybody who has perfect self-worth and that's fine. There's plenty of successful people that are doing fine and they're on a journey, right? So the first thing is becoming aware and just thinking about where you are. Hey, Clinton. Um, and then the second point, number two, is to decide. You always have options about which way you want to go in life, right? So you decisions about anything are imperative. And if you've decided that you're going to go on a journey to look at your self-worth, to achieve your big dreams and why you want your dreams, that is the big thing that'll start you down this path. And making a decision, whether you realize it or not, in and of itself, impacts your self-worth. You've done it for yourself. You've said, I'm going down this road. So we're, I mean, I'm talking, yeah, um, Tatiana's asking, how do you change your self-worth? And so first of all, awareness. Second of all, decide. You're going to look at it. You're going to go on a journey. You're going to be invested in this journey and you're going to continue on. The um, and the other part about the decision is to also, hey, Meg, is also to decide what you want in your life, be clear about it, and that you're going to take what you're going to do, what it takes to be able to, if you would say, obtain it or feel into it or feel better or whatever. So that's the second point is making a decision to be on this journey. And like I said, the self-worth journey is unfolding. It's an, it's a, it's, it's over time. It's not an event. So you got to decide to stay on it. The third point I want to make about self-worth tonight, and certainly um, all of you right now can decide and you can type in decide that you are part of this. 
Um, yeah, don't be afraid to make the decision, Clinton says. If it's from your heart, oh my God, yes, Clint. That is so right, from your heart. If your heart is singing something to you and going to your soul in some kind of passionate way, you will take the right steps. You will go in the right direction, but you also have to decide that you're gonna listen because our, our society doesn't always encourage us to listen to our heart calling us or our guts calling us, right? So you got to make that decision. Great point. Thank you for making that point. A big, big part, point number three of changing, turning, you know, helping it along on this journey of self-worth is self-care. Somebody type in self-care. Somebody type in self-care. You know, I did a video on my YouTube channel. And by the way, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, it's Paula B. Coaching, P-A-U-L-A-B-C-O-A-C-H-I-N-G, Coaching. Just get on YouTube. I'll put in the, um, the, after this is over, I can put in the link, but go subscribe to it. I make videos like four or five times a week. These videos go on there. You can watch the replay. There's all kinds of things that I put out there trying to help you, give you free help stuff that'll I'll help you go along. Um, yeah, I'm glad. I hope you all have subscribed. That's wonderful. Yes, thank you for typing in self-care. I cannot, cannot express, and you can go watch the self-care video that I made for some points about, you know, what about that you can do, but, you know, doing stuff for yourself every single day, tuning into yourself about what you want. Those little things you do, like grabbing a piece of chocolate, doesn't always have to be about food, can be about other things, but grabbing a flower for yourself while you're at the store, um, taking a walk and admiring the flowers. Yes, self-care is self-love. Absolutely, Tatiana. And you, it's the little things it's the little things you do. And it's that feeling. How do you know when you're engaging in it? It's that little feeling that makes you kind of want to giggle to yourself. Like, ah, ah, I did this for myself, right? That's a form of, that is not, that's part of self-care, right? So you want to have that going on every day, all the time, being actually selfish about it. You know, the old cliche about if you, you know, you're in the airplane when people used to fly, you put your mask on first and then help other people. That's what this is about. If your cup is empty, you don't have anything to give to anybody else. And when you are operating out of an empty cup in this world, your vibration is going to be lower. You're going to feel grumpy. You're going to feel mad. And you are not going to your self-worth is going to deplete even more. You're essentially giving yourself the message that you aren't good enough to take care of. All right. So a primary, primary piece of building up and changing your self-worth is really, really, really after you get aware and you decide you're actually going to take this journey and you're going to stay on this journey because it takes a while to turn this ship is you're going to fill your cup up. You're going to put, you know, put the little pebbles and the rocks and all that stuff that fills you up in your cup. And you know what? Um, Andrea said she went and got herself her own little coffee this morning. That's something I often do. And by the way, self-care does not have to cost money. Back in the day when I was the human doing and I was breaking down emotionally, physically, spiritually, and financially, my self-worth was horrible. And I often um, what said, I'm not going to do any self-care because I can't afford it. And what I realize is you don't have to spend money for it. You can go for a walk. You can enjoy flowers. You know, sometimes you can spend a little tiny bit of money, like getting yourself a coffee. That's something I do often. It's kind of like a little giggly treat. It could be anything. It could be taking a nap in the middle of the afternoon. If you can do that, you know, if your job allows you to do that, or if you work for yourself, all those things. But I can't explain to you how important the self-care idea is in building up your self-worth. Um, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. And, and Tatiana says she goes in for deep rooted beliefs. 
and then tries to free them and then replace them with positive beliefs. She's at, she's going deep. She's down the journey, man. She's been, she's decided to be on this journey. Um, and we tend to hide how horrible our, our self-care is. That's such a good point, Clint. We hide that we're not taking care of ourselves. We try to proclaim that we're good, that we're you know doing fine and look fine. And we're hiding that we're not. So go watch my self-care video, get some more ideas, get involved and invested in that. And then the last thing I want to give you as a point of changing your self-worth and bringing it up on this journey, remember it's a journey, somebody say journey, is that we need to invest. Your self-worth is worth your investment. And I am not talking about necessarily financially, but it is about, you know, taking the time to listen to yourself finding out what else you need. Maybe those, how do you dig out those self-limiting beliefs, time and energy. And then, and then Tatiana says, yes, and some money investment, you are worth it. And the more you put that investment forward and the more you put the investment into yourself, the more uh, return you're going to get. It's the best ROI you will ever, ever get. I can tell you even financially, um, yes, and meditating is a form of investing in yourself, going for 10 to 15 minutes into silence to connect inside and be with your creator. What a boost that is for your self worth and self esteem. Keep doing it. Um, yeah, we need to believe that taking care of others um, can be part of taking care of you, but you've got to take care of yourself first. And that investment is so important. So it's financially, it's spiritually, it's emotionally investing. Um, and I want to give you permission today too to go write a check to get yourself something, whether it's a massage, a pedicure, a coffee, something that allows you to have something for you could be tiny, small, and it should make you giggle that you've done it just for you because the financial piece is part of an energy too, okay? So I want to, one last point. How's this going? People in? You in? Good, good. Um, you can always pull this up later. It's going to be on my YouTube channel. I want you to subscribe. Paula B. Coaching. <laughs> um, finally, let me tell you about one other thing that's going to help you. And that is what? Who do y'all think? I, what do you think I'm going to talk about now? Come on. I got to do, I got to do self-promotion. It's part of my self-worth. I have a challenge next week, right? A challenge. And the challenge is called 10K in five days. What? Badass business challenge, right? So this challenge goes into these ideas of mindset, these ideas of what you can do to help good. You're in. Yes. Um, that these ideas to help you uh, grow into uh, your self-worth, to achieve what you want, to define what you want, to have it and love it and know the freedom, know the underlying value of it, to find money to grow yourself. It is also another form of investment, right? So it's not that much investment. <laughs> it's not that much. I want you to go look into this. And if you like what I say here on these little, you know, 30 minute times together, check out this challenge. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty much going viral. And I would tell you that if you really want to get this deep down experience and grow and get in the power, oh, here's another piece of self-worth. Get around other people who are working on their, own, their self-worth, that are working on their growth. It, get with them, have them support you, have them give you ideas, be with them as much as you can, take their love, receive their love, give love to them. Having other people, that's part of the investment too, the power of proximity. Somebody type in proximity. That power is an investment. It's an investment in you and you're going to give some, you're going to give some love. Yes, that is badass. Being involved with other people in power of proximity and growing together is badass. So that is also part of this challenge, this 10K in five day challenge. And here's the other part of investment I wanted to say in, in your self-worth. This journey 
probably needs you to reach out and get some help. If you were able to cure it, to change it, to do it, to be there on your own and make this all change and turn for yourself in your own self way and whatever, you would have done it. Anybody who has a dream is not thinking I'm going to do not do everything I can do to get to the dream. Your self-worth is in the way and it could be in the way. It could be other things. It's more than likely in the way and it's hard to do it all alone. So getting some help, getting coaching, getting, you know, into places where you learn, getting whatever therapy, getting with friends, again, that power of proximity with other people who are supporting you and doing this, their journey too, is so important. So I want you to look into this challenge. I want to look into your, you look into your soul, find out where the passion is, find out where your heart is, like what Clint says, follow that chain of command, if you will, and figure out what it is you really want that's singing to you. That's part of finding this too, the clarity of what you want, not just following somebody else's prescription and then figure out how to get it. But you're probably going to need to stick with that decision that you're going to do it and that you're going to need to reach out to other people and make an investment. And you're going to have to every day, every day. Somebody say this happens every day. Every day involve yourself in self-care. Okay, so I'm going to put the um, I'm going to put the link for this challenge, this badass business challenge, and it doesn't have to be just about business. There's many, many people who come into this challenge, not for only, you know, building their business or making ten thousand dollars. I called it 10K because you can 10K many, many things. You can 10K your self-esteem. You can 10K your money. And, you know, it all tends to fit together. Tatiana's asking me if it's going to be the same challenge as last time. There will be many, many elements that are the same because their core needs and their core services and their core investment principles for how you build your life and build your your capital and your own investment in yourself and your assets both um, outside yourself and inside yourself so it's going to be similar but every time you do something like this it's different because the different groups and whatever but again i would recommend Go tonight to sign up if you're going to take the VIP experience because I've got 25 seats. I keep that smaller. VIP, you have one-on-one -on -one time. We have extra coaching. You come on the Zoom room earlier. You get more materials. You get more prizes. You get more stuff. Um, you get more interaction from the guests and all of that stuff. It's a great, great, great. Anybody who's been part of it, if somebody's on here tonight and you've been a VIP, sign in and say, I've been a VIP. Um, and then say, you know, put a heart with it or, or put a boo with it, whatever you're saying, but more, more than likely you're going to put a heart. Um, it's been magical to be a VIP in this. And I've only got 25 seats. I try to keep it smaller because I don't, I, I need it small so I can talk to people and, you know, be part, be in there with it. And I think I've got like 20 seats already taken. So if you're thinking about doing that, go ahead and do it. I'm not just trying to make a sales. I am telling you to go take this challenge. It's going to rock your world. It'll change your life. I've got a money back guarantee. If it doesn't do what you want it to do for you, you can have your money back. Um, go check it out. I'll put the link in later. Love being with you guys. Um, you know, I want to hear topics that you want me to talk about. If it's in my purview, in my expertise, I'll gladly, gladly come on here and talk. Last week we had a guest and we're going to have guests every once in a while. Um, all of these things are posted again. Of course, you can find the feed in this on my personal uh, Facebook page. Um, and you can also, but you can really find a lot more than this on my uh, YouTube channel. And please sign up for the challenge. Please do this favor for you. Don't leave yourself out of this. I love you all. So glad to be with you all. And this has been really, really great. Tatiana's blowing kisses. Love you all. I'm blowing kisses too. 
it's a delay on um, Facebook. So you guys will see it. Yeah. And she says, bye, sweetie. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, tune in next week. Hey, tell other people about this challenge. Be a hero. Help other people be part of this and get their self-worth up and get their business going. It can be whole organizations that take this. I've got an entire organization coming this time. Love you all very much. We'll see you next week for the coffee and tea with Coach Paula B. Show. Hey, if you've got a product you want to have placement on here, I'm glad to uh, talk about it. If you got an organization you want to come on and be a guest, I'd be glad to entertain you being a guest. I also have a new podcast coming out called The Bad Assery. And I um, have guests on there who talk about their journey to um, back to their power because we're all born with power and they've reclaimed it. And now what are they doing good in the world? And we want to hear those stories. So if you think you could be a good um, a guest on my badassery, I'd love you to do that. But I'd also love you to tune in and um, we'll talk to you all soon. Be amazing. You already are Stand in your own power. That's yours already. Tell other people about this show. Tell, tell, tell about the challenge. Get other people involved. And I will put the link in so you can join and go love on yourself. Go build your self-worth. Go write that book. Go find your million dollars. You got this. Love you much. We'll talk to you soon.